I'll do, I'll read one that's pretty new, um, taken from a painting, and then I'll read one that's kind of fun. That sounds like a plan. That sounds like a plan, <laughs> okay. That's my plan. Uh, this is called Spaces Between Light, and it's taken from a little cut by Dorothea Creek, where um, she's got five lines, five striations, and I kind of wrote it in the same way with a little, little foreword. So, spaces between light. We are the spaces between light. Eggshell ovations in loose nests of twigs. Musicians tuning the moon's strings. Voices dipping the sun in black ink. Painters lifting blue loss with red feathers. Sculptors of oval openings and marble beams. One, you dip your brush into dark jeweled water, mix a swan's dawn with the sun's yellow dust. Two, hush slides from the moth onto a peach morning Rain sweetens the flesh, clinging to each sculpted stone. Three, green algae covers the weights on a fisherman's line, trawls afternoon for the long, thin shape of pipe. Four, twilight tapers purple over your body of words, parts your lips, spoon feeds you the moon's vapor. Five, you paint night with a Mustang's thick black mane, ride a faint star bareback, bolt before oncoming light. Okay, that's that. Um, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this one is kind of fun. You've all been to coffee houses and sat around and, and watched what was going on, kind of people watched. And there's a coffee house in Ann Arbor called Sweetwaters, and we have readings there. And they're known for their matchmaking. And so uh, I put together a, a book called Writers Reading at Sweetwaters, which, which is an anthology of the poets who read there. And I had to do an ode, you know, an ode to Sweetwaters. So here it is. Oh, to matchmaking at Sweetwater's Coffee and Tea. Ole! Ole! To her, he was a bold, untamed sweetheart with a kick. A gray centaur drinking passion from a blended cup, stirring dollops of savory memories with his tongue. She was captivated watched for an outpouring of woo, a nod back to a black mythical time when man and horse perked as one fiery, full-bodied brew. At first, she feared he would jolt and whip her away to an island without a cafe. But then she saw he was not a frothy mix. No, he was herbal and wise an unbridled fair trade centaur, a dearest Darjeeling, a high-steeping earl, an organic, indulging in sweet caramel mocha, offering carrot cake. She stepped over sweet water, neighed across the floor, sampled dragon eyes, monkey caps, gunpowder tea, eggnog lattes, chocolate-covered sunflower seeds. She repaired his racing heart, stroked his thinning mane, said, Hey, Santa, you half and half hybrid. You're hot. He reared red-eyed said, Whoa, I'm no double shot. I'm a single animated, caffeinated, here and to go joke. Looking to kick back my hooves with someone who grasps my bushy tail and roll. He was flanked by her first flush of warmth. Asked her to linger with him over Sweetwater's heady scent of ardor. 
in Ann Arbor. They wrap themselves in lemon peel, cinnamon, jasmine, mandarin, orange, honey to cherry scone, stirred steamy stories and poems in intense espresso. Sugar coops floated toward them on clouds of cream. Thank you, that was fun. <laughs>